Hey guys, it's Brooke, and today we'll be making homemade Play-Doh. And first thing that you're gonna need, first thing that we're gonna do, take our pan, and we're gonna put two cups of water in that. Pan. One cup. Two cups. And then we're going to take one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And we're going to put it in this. Okay. And then we're going to put that on the stove. Well, first we're actually going to mix it. And then we're going to put it on the stove for until it reaches, until it boils, because you have to let it boil or it will not work right. And then we're going to take our bowl and we're going to use one cup of flour. And then one fourth cup of salt. Sorry, I'm reading the direction. Earlier, I was experimenting with this and watching YouTube videos, and I got Kaleido. So this is what the finishing product will turn out. But I'll show you that later. And then, so after we have those two things, can't see that, sorry. Um, we're gonna take, what do we take now? Then we take our Kool-Aid packet. I am using Great Blue, Blue Dini. Who knows? And we're gonna put that in. And you don't have to use the same thing. Whoa. It's called Great Blue Dini, but it came out then green. Then we're just gonna keep on stirring this while it's boiling, because we don't want it to overboil. And then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna stir up this mixture. You might not see the green until after. And then, so we're going to take our boiled mixture, and we're gonna put it in here. Oh. Turns out it is blue. And then we're just gonna mix this up. Do not touch it yet because it is not ready to be touched. And then we're just gonna mix it up good. And if it's too watery, you just eat them all. Maybe you didn't let it boil because last time I tried to make a purple one out of grape. And I didn't let the water boil for long enough and it turned out like liquid. And that is what it's going to look like. And it's hot. Very, very hot, so be careful. And then you're just going to take this mixture out of the bowl. And just let it cool down. And then we're just gonna be very careful getting that off. Do not. It is super easy to clean off. Let's stuff just try not to get enough clothes. And it is edible. As you can see, all the stuff that we put in it. It is edible, but kids will probably not eat it because of like the salty taste. Because you put in a lot of salt too. And then we're just going to keep on feeling it until we get, like, to see how hot it is. And we're just going to pat it and stuff. You know how it's hot. And we're just going to be very careful. Hot, 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 hot. And just let it cool down because it will be very hot. But don't put it in the fridge because then it will harden. And that's not 
And after you get to playing with it and kneading it, it will change color, as I said. And you will get this, and I finally, and you can adjust it. Whoa. See, it kind of stops sticking to your hands. And it's the same color as the first one, so this is fun. And it's just super fun, safe, edible. I don't want to eat it. That doesn't seem like the best idea. But edible. You could put it in a bowl and change the color with food coloring and stuff. And hope you liked making this craft. And we're just going to put it in a Tupperware. We're just going to put it in a Tupperware. We're just going to put it in our Tupperware. Put it on the top. And voila. We got ourselves some Play-Doh. Hope you liked this video, guys. Sorry if we're just covering up the camera. And see you next time. Bye.